Beauty is something that I've always been incredibly interested in. Sometimes for me in design, the truest things, the things that speak to customers the most, are things that come from reality. If there's a women's fragrance that I love, I wear it. I've always been that way. We have a very strong brand philosophy at Tom Ford, and that is that you do whatever, whatever it takes to make your customer happy. In my time at Gucci and at Yves Saint Laurent, I would spend some times a week before a show working on a look for that season. Makeup and beauty is so particular to a moment in time that if you stood 20 women in a room with nothing on but their hair and their makeup, you could instantly say 1920, 1935, 1940, 1960, 1987, 19, you know, you could instantly date them. And beauty is, in a way, as important as clothes are in setting a look, a tone for a season. And Tom Ford Beauty was meant to address that. The first thing, of course, that we, we did at Tom Ford Beauty was launch Black Orchid. And again, I wanted to create something that was iconic timeless that would sit well over the years with everything we developed and actually was a precursor for it and set the tone for the house of Tom Ford as a beauty brand. My driver in Italy, uh, in Milan, one day I was sitting in the car and I said, Tino, are you wearing Black Orchid? And he said, yeah. And I said, do you know it's a women's fragrance? And he said, no, I don't care. I just, you know, I went to the store, there it was, I liked it. My wife bought it for me. It's great, and I love that. If I had to pick a flower that I love, that I love the fragrance of, its visual appeal, I would choose a peony. You know, the scent of a peony is very lush. You know, you just want to just bury your face in it. And if I had to choose my favorite ingredient of all for fragrance, it would be patchouli. The idea of combining peony with patchouli and the combination of the floral and the richness and sexiness and headiness of patchouli is something quite new. And, and I think what we've done with white patchouli, I have to say, I think it's great. Tom Ford for Men was created to really be a fairly broad fragrance that would appeal to many men all over the world. And it's a scent that I, I feel very passionately about. Tom Ford for Men, I think, is a great classic, in a sense, fragrance. And, and it's something that is very much uh, captures the essence of the Tom Ford brand. Tom Ford Extreme is one of my favorite fragrances. I wear it all the time. I like it because it is somewhat heavy. It's very rich. I don't necessarily love clean, crisp fragrances that disappear. I like things that linger. I like things that are warm. I like things that are sensual. I like things that are sexy. I tend to like fragrances that are somewhat heavy by maybe some people's standards. I think that one of the reasons that Private Blend has been so well received by real fragrance connoisseurs is that in developing the fragrance, we didn't test anything. We didn't use any guide other than our own noses. And our goal was to create something very original. So within our 12 private blend fragrances, soon to be more private blend fragrances. But we do have something that would appeal to everyone, but each one is quite specific. Tom Ford menswear is a very personal expression of the way that I feel a man should dress. We are a hybrid between a fashion designer and a tailor. We have the ability to make something that's really made just for you, where you choose the lining, you choose the shoulder, you choose the shape, you choose the buttons. We're a collection that really is concerned with relating to our customer and dressing our customer and satisfying their needs and giving them what they need, what they want, in order to feel confident and good about themselves. 
Eyewear is a very potent accessory. Um, it's a potent accessory when you put it on. It, you know, it, it happens to wrap the part of your face that everyone looks at when they're talking to, to you. So it's very noticeable. And just the shape can change your look. You can have the same hair, the same dress, and you can put on a cat eye and you can be Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany or you can put on giant round glasses and you can become Jackie O. It's also for men, by the way, one of the few accessories that men have. It can make the dullest guy look cool, look hip, look groovy, look sexy, look whatever. It can say a lot about you. So the thing that I can say to all of you that's the most important about what we stand for as brand, whether you're selling our beauty products, whether you're selling Tom Ford fragrance, whether you're selling Tom Ford menswear, whether you're selling Tom Ford eyewear, whether you're selling Tom Ford shoes, is the customer is always right. I completely believe in everything that we're doing in terms of the quality of product, the quality of the execution, the quality of the thought behind it, and the thought that went behind making something that's original, different, but, but that's not enough. In our world, we also need to serve the customer. And I know that you do that in Neiman Marcus because that's also your belief. Uh, and it's, it's something that is absolutely at the core of what we're about, is service.